the expressions of your grace daily as I live often as I breathe let my whole life be expressions of your grace say daily as I live Often as I breathe, Often as I breathe let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Say daily as I live, often as I breathe, God, let my whole I breathe, God, let my whole life, my whole being, one more time, say daily as I live, often as I breathe, God, let my whole life be expressions of your grace, we cry of a Father. As I breathe, let my whole life be expressions of your grace. Somebody say, daily as I live, every day and every hour, Lord, as I breathe, let my whole, let my whole life, life be expressions of your grace. Say, daily as I live. Monday to Sunday, God, from January to December, Lord, from the rising of the sun, say daily as I live, God, God, often as I breathe, let my whole being, let my whole same atmosphere in that same atmosphere from that same concept from that same basic principle that our lives might become a testament unto the most high God 
from that same principle that we were created just to magnify the name of the Lord. From the same principle that our lives shall must. We are obligated that our lives must magnify the name of the Lord. That is our level of worship that we need in Glory Worship Church. That our lives shall manifest the glory of Almighty God in everything that we do. In this place we cry. That our lives shall become a testament unto the Most High God. That every breathing, living second of our lives shall be in service of Almighty God. Open your mouth and magnify His name. Open your mouth and magnify His name. Open your mouth and magnify His name. Open your mouth and celebrate. Open your mouth and celebrate. That every waking moment of your life is being in service of God Himself. That every waking moment of your being shall be in service of Him. That you waking up and going to work is in service of Him. That you going to your workplace is in service of Him. That you looking after your family is in service of Him. That you helping your neighbor is in service of Him. That you reading your Bible is in service of Him. That you of him. Everything is in service of him. Everything, everything, everything. And your prayer is in service of him. Now your revision is in service of him. And your work is in service of him. When you recognize this simple truth, when you recognize this simple truth, you no longer work for yourself. You no longer think of your bills. You no longer think of your house, your big house, your nice car. That isn't what you're thinking about because everything, everything you do, everything, every decision you make, your question is, does it please the Lord? Does it exalt the name of the Lord? Does it magnify the name of the Lord? 